Hello, I'm Tom and Tammy. And together we're TNT, which makes us Dynamite. <laughs> okay. All the people getting that out there are children of the 80s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had to be watching it's 70s actually. 70s, oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, this is Tabletop Tap Room and welcome to our show. Thanks for watching. Thanks to our subscribers. You guys are great. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon. And uh, now that we got the record keeping stuff out of the way, we are doing a report on going to a murder mystery dinner. And I think people who play RPGs, particularly couples who game, should be going to murder mystery dinners. You will enjoy this. So let us tell, uh, tell you about our experience and why it was so cool from a gaming perspective. And we'd never been to one before. Even me, who does theater. Yeah. I've never been to one. Big time theater. Director. I know. I just had never been to one. Yeah. So um, the, why don't you explain uh, what the deal, the, the thing was, and why, and why we got invited to it? So someone I know owns an event venue, a uh, place called Crawford Farm Weddings and Events. Mm -hmm. And it's a lovely place, 1800s. Uh, you know, farm, uh, big building, as you saw just a moment ago out there. And uh, they do weddings and events. And this oh. was, there we are. There we are. There's, a, they put on an event to raise money for the local MSSA, oh. I think it's called. Hold on. Um, um, let me bring up the thing. Here it is. To benefit the MSSPA. LPA, yeah. Which was for uh, abused horses. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Uh, and it was joining us for a Wild West Murder Mystery Dinner Theater fundraiser. And look, it was sold out. Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. And let's pull up some of these other photos here. So people are encouraged to dress up because the theme was the Wild West. And so people dressed up, as you can see. And just simple, just to have fun. And um yeah, there it is. There's the beautiful, whole, yeah. beautiful. And of course, the main the main events happen in that red barn section that you saw. And then, but people are able to stay overnight there, like if they're having a wedding for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So they put them up there. So it's a yeah, great it's kind of like a bed and breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's beautiful, beautiful. So, um, and so we were invited and got to go to this murder mystery that was a themed. Uh, Wild West, as you could see. Yeah. And super fun. We just had such a great time and didn't know what to really expect. I mean, we kind of know the basics a little bit, but we didn't know how it was going to be structured. And we thought it was kind of brilliant. And we talked a lot about how it would appeal to gamers. Yes. Uh, this is the woman who owns the farm. Yeah, and, and her, her husband. And her husband. Yeah. Very nice people. Yeah. And beautiful wedding uh, venue. Yeah. Just absolutely gorgeous. In fact, uh, this barn... Um, in another part of the barn, the chandelier is an old wooden ladder that they've just kind of wrapped with yeah. uh, white Christmas lights. And I'm like, well, that's a DIY yeah. chandelier if I ever yeah. saw one and it fit. It, was it, so it totally fit. Uh, so it's a great place. That was for this evening. If you go back there, if you look on the tables and some of the decor, yes. you can see there's a little money bag and... Yeah. You know, just that, that the, the decoration in the window, it's all the, that's what it looked like when we got there. Yes. Yeah. And then, we, you know, we, you sit down, um, you might not know everybody at the table you're sitting at. Yeah. These are two of the actors. Mm -hmm. um, I forget what. Uh, oh, she was like the. Uh, the femme fatale. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was um, Big Nose Kate. Who's Big Nose Kate. A and, theater friend of mine. And there was a Wyatt Earp and a Doc Holiday, So it was very familiar riff, names. So riff. you. You, you picked them up. It real wasn't quick. Doc Holiday because remember I said something and he came over and was like, gave me a hard time. Yeah, they were they, they were, were using simple yeah riffs on the names and um, so it was great. And uh, so they also had a part of the fundraising was they had the not so dry gulch saloon. Yes, that was cute. Slightly overpriced alcohol. Um, as it should be, it's a what, fundraiser. It's okay, you don't mind paying it because it's for the horses, it's for the poor, abused animals, you know. And this was much more fun than watching that commercial on TV where it shows the pitiful mm. dogs shivering in the in the cold and 
won't you give for these poor abused damn you know no i mean this was much more fun and uh you were happy to and you know i got to have one adult yeah. beverage you got to have multiple because <laughs> i drove because i drove home so um so the format for these murder mysteries if you've never been to one is the um is the crew the cast come out and introduce themselves and there's like a narrator. He was also the sheriff, mm -hmm. uh, but he played the narrator. And so they introduced themselves. Then they're going to have the first course, which was, um, what was the first course? It was course? an appetizer. It was like a corn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Corn tostita. Was, I don't even know. It was a deconst deconstructed. That's deconstructed toast, tostado, tostada. Yeah. Something along those lines. Delicious. And it was great. And um, the narrator comes around and hands out a question to the table that somebody's going to read on microphone. But during this time period, the cast circulates, yep. and I believe they do little antics. They, you know, they converse with you, and you can ask questions, which we didn't figure out quite yet. But there was a couple uh, of people at our table that were folks that have been to many of these, and so they're kind of giving us tips, but like general tips, like you got to really pay attention. Don't just play off the clues they give you really you got to ask them questions when they come around right. and stuff so yeah that was really cool so yeah there's the kibitzing you get to eat you're having your adult beverage you get to eat and um the actors come around and calamity jane came around she yes. was she was actually giving us the best she was giving you the best because <laughs> she when she came well you didn't know this but you went to go get drinks and she came over and obviously she knew we because we were in the front so she knew that you had been someone had been sitting there and she came over twice and you were still gone so she's like what's his deal like he keeps avoiding me they just are trying to make conversation with you right. um which is well, super fun well there was a line for the the uh, not so dry gulch saloon <laughs> right. tell them about the lady in front of you a uh, lady in front of me i'm like uh like so you know it's I wasn't paying attention. I didn't know how much she had ordered, but uh, all of a sudden the bartender goes, well, that'll be 120 bucks or whatever it was. It was over a hundred. And, and I'm thinking, holy cow, this is a fundraiser for the horses. And I'm thinking, uh, I, I'm going to have water <laughs> and I'll have a wine for the wife, but no, no. Um, yeah, so she got out a tray and put all these drinks on a tray. She was getting drinks for her whole table. So yeah, that made more sense. And um, so it took a while, and uh, you know, and then I was like, I wanted to make sure the uh, the bartender got tipped because she was working her butt off. And so I just thought, no, 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 the, the bartender needs to get a tip. And I have a suspicion that the bartender actually was kicking her tips back for the horses. Oh, probably. Anyway, so I had that suspicion, so I didn't mind giving a generous tip, but I, I wanted to make sure I gave it because she was working her tail off. Yeah. So it, 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 you know, so yeah, Calamity Jane was was really giving me a rough time, but you get that going on, and so it's kind of fun. You're having, you're just having a good time, and then the narrator started in with the the questions at, after we'd had a chance to eat, drink, and talk. Like each table has to ask, and then they, that's how the story keeps getting told. You keep getting information because there were, I don't know, 10 tables, yeah. 10, 12 tables. So by the time you get through all those, you've gotten a whole bunch of more information. Yes. Um, and you get to talk about it at your table and you're writing down, there's questions that you have to, eventually at the end, you have to try to guess who committed the yeah. murder that you know about. And um, yeah, so it's super fun. Yeah, and and you know these people who go to this, it's like there there's a core of people who go to multiple ones a year. Yeah, a couple of times a year they they do it. It's, to them, it's like an event. It's like us going to Shire to Con. Con. Yeah, yeah, going to Shire Con. Oh yeah, gotta go to Shire Con. We love going to small conventions. Uh, so yeah, these people they get into this and they do this stuff like all the time and they really get into it and they dress up the part uh you know we dressed up yeah and uh wow so, yes well, we did well, took well, you like five minutes well yeah i found a, a black leather vest i threw it over a white shirt and um where are the, we can we have a picture the, oh yeah i can bring up a picture it took him like five minutes to get ready so here we are me more than five minutes because so, my hair doesn't naturally do that that's like five thousand bobby yeah pounds. you had a good um Little house on the prairie. Little house going. on the prairie thing. Going, <laughs> so, yeah. And th and that 
is not bird poop on my hat. <laughs> that is a spider web. That's a cobweb <laughs> I walked into. And I was like, what, what, what is this? <laughs> Looking at the photo afterwards, it oh looks like a bird gosh. took a dump on me. <laughs> But no, that was a cobweb I walked into. Yeah. And um, yeah, so this was us at the event. Um, some more pictures of yeah. the actors because the actors do a little thing. Um, you have this whole round. The actors do a little thing and then you get to ask questions and then they do another course of the meal. Right. So your, the next course of the meal comes out. Narrator comes around, primes the pump with that printed question. Yeah. And actors will circulate. You get to chit chat with them. And then they do a little dealio of acting yeah. and you get to ask questions on the microphone. The microphone gets passed. And it's a neat little setup. Easy. Yeah. And then by the end you have to guess. And um, somebody here is into murder mysteries. Yes. And you got the right answer. I got yes. the wrong murderer. Yeah, you did. I got, I got the, right. the right one. I would say about 25% got the right murderer. Yeah. 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 I think so too. But so, that was the fun of it is to go, you know, uh, it was just really fun. I think it's like when you're playing an RPG that you have more fun in the, the journey along the way than you necessarily do. Like, oh, at the end, like who came out the winner? I mean, that is important, too. Uh, nobody wants to go into a total party kill, but uh, it was just the, the journey was fun. And of course, it's with food. So that made it. Yeah, well, that was even better. We had been I had been having an itch to you know, we need to go out. We need yeah. to go out and eat. We need yeah. to go out and do something. Yeah. And this came along at the perfect time. And uh, so, so that it, it met one need of, we need to do something right. couple wise. Right. And um, it scratched the RPG itch. Yeah. It's, um, you know, we got to dress up. It was that, you know, it's all the things. dressing up in the, in the outfit was almost like LARPing, but not quite as no. kooky. But you got to wear your alligator boots. I, my, yeah, my alligator high cowboy boots that um, uh, were originally appraised in the 1990s at 500 bucks, but uh, I, I looked into replacing them recently, and they were much higher in price for 100% alligator hide. I think um, you wore them at our wedding. I might have worn them. Uh, yeah, because sure I wear them any chance I get to dress up. I'm like, this is the dressiest thing I have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, let me get out my boots that are worth more than, um, yeah. you know, some cars I used to own in the 80s. <laughs> oh my so, yeah, uh, very dressy. They were a gift to me um, uh, way back, and I just absolutely love them. Um, and they were fitting for the oh, they totally time fit. period. So yeah, and they, you know, they matched my black leather vest that I wore, and uh, I had a dark hat, and... Um, Oh the, yeah, your hat. I don't have a cowboy hat, but that was I've seen the similar hats at turn of the century, 1900s miners, and I thought um, close enough to 1885. But, but we had just finished watching Breaking Bad, like re rewatched yeah. the entire series, and and it was a little nod to that hat. I, little, for yeah. me, I just kept thinking, oh, it's your Breaking Bad hat. So, <laughs> Although you're not making math I'm, in the I'm, I'm 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 Heisenberg or <laughs> oh, I'm, oh my I'm, gosh. I'm Heisen Wyatt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Heisen Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So uh yeah, so it was great. And it, you know, you've got that. So it it kind of it really scratches the itch yeah, for us as a gaming couple. Yeah. And we had a great time. Uh, we should probably talk a little bit about this murder mystery 207. Do you want yeah. to? So 207 is the area code for the whole state of Maine. Okay. Uh, we get ribbed about that. The state of Maine does, but I love that. Um, and so this is called Mystery 207. And they're just an acting troupe that goes around and there are different themes that they offer, they're, like the 1920s. They're professional. They get yeah. paid to do this. They yeah. get paid to do it. I knew a couple of them. Uh, the 1920s, we oh, obviously went. You knew them from acting, from yeah. theater. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, one of them had been my choreographer. That was the one when I first got there. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so the 1920s, they do the Wild West, Pirates, 1950s, Titanic. I know I saw in their 1980s something. You can do custom yeah. themes. Yeah. But obviously the Wild West one fit the horse's whole theme. So that was easy and well, fun. Yeah, and we were a no in a barn. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's no, you know. A real no-brainer. But yeah. all of these, th all these themes are things that people can probably go in their closet 
and come out with something to wear. Yeah, yeah. Or you could just get a couple of things at the. Or you're not required to dress up. Like you didn't have true, to. It true. was just fun to. It was like a good reason to. True. Kind of a thing. Yeah. But easy enough to put on. And um, yeah, very much like an RPG because you had a mystery to solve and you had to get through it. You were trying to get through it together as a group. And I thought it was brilliant how they had each table asked these questions to make sure the information got out that they needed to get out because we might not have asked the right questions. Yeah. So that was like an insurance to make sure the right information gets out. And even with all that, um, most people got it wrong. Yeah. Most people mm -hmm. got it wrong, which ties into RPGs where uh, I think that players in an RPG need all the subtlety of a sledgehammer. <laughs> You know, with the clues, the clues yeah. need to be obvious. Yeah. You know, you can't have subtle clues. You really, they, they got to be obvious. Other, otherwise people go down the red herrings and then it's all right. All right. All oh, right. Yeah. You know what? Uh, let's back this up and all right. Talk to this. And we yeah, don't want that. You want it. Yeah. You want people to make the choices. And so those questions were important. Yeah. I, but you, they weren't a sledgehammer. You still had ambiguity as to, who might have done what and it did come down to the details because the people that other people guessed that were wrong they kind of took you through why those ones were wrong yes and and it were it was details of that person couldn't have because remember they said uh blah 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 and then there was something about his toe what oh yeah, about yeah his toe? i forgot the details something. now but anyway, we had a good time yeah it was awesome that was what mattered we had a great time money got donated to the yeah. poor horses yeah. the poor abused animals and um it really scratched the gaming itch. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was absolutely great. So if there's a murder mystery near you, a dinner theater type thing, yeah, you might just find it a delightful connection to what you already know and love. And uh, if not, you'll have a night out with someone I'm hoping you like spending time with. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, if you're fighting a divorce, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not a good idea. Maybe you might be the murderer. That might, well, that might give you ideas. So maybe, maybe. <laughs> you might be the one who gets murdered by the end of the night. <laughs> oh, my gosh. See, now that's a whole murder mystery right there. You go to a murder mystery. And murder at murder. the murder, murder mystery, mystery dinner. <laughs> We should write that. I know. We should write that. So, uh, so this is Tabletop Tap Room. Thanks for watching our video. Uh, we had a blast doing this, and we, we wanted to recommend it to the hobby and the gaming community, especially to gaming couples. Yeah. If you are a gaming couple out there, you should check this out. It was really a great time. Or, you know, maybe you're just dating someone. You know, hey, I got tickets to this thing. Let's go. Yeah. You know, so yeah. uh, and and that might be a good way to introduce a non gamer into yeah. gaming. A little bit of gaming. Be like, hey, did you enjoy that? Come by my house Friday night. Yeah, I, yeah, we, we do also do this thing very much like that. It's just yeah. Doritos and Coke and people around the kitchen table. Sure, and, right. You know, so that might be a nice little soft sell to get. You know, if you're yeah. if you're a, a gamer dating someone who's not a gamer, to pull them into it a little yeah. bit. I think. Yeah, me too. So this is uh, Tom and Tammy from yeah. Tabletop Tap Room. Yeah. And we're Dynamite. <laughs> Let us know if you want to see more of us together. Sure. I don't know. I don't know if this works. I kind of think it does sometimes. Well, yeah, we're, we're totally rip, uh, ripping off uh, 10 Car Saturn right now, aren't we? Uh, oh. Gamers Health. Oh. Yeah. Well, yes, but oh, I never thought of it that way. Well, yeah, we're, 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 we're doing a... We're doing an Eric and uh, an Rachel. Eric and Rachel thing, Tom and Tammy. <laughs> side by side. So, uh, yeah, we had a great blast. And, again, uh, we just wanted to promote this to our to our fans of the channel and to the gaming public. Uh, please check out a uh, – especially if they're doing a charity thing. Yeah. You know, no you have a good time. Money goes to the charity. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah. Easy. Absolutely. So – Keep on gaming okay. and check out a murder mystery sometime, somewhere. Just don't be the victim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs>